Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make some Thanksgiving bingo cards using software called Bingo Card Printer, which you can download from bingocardprinter.com. This is the initial screen of the program. I click Create New Bingo Card Project, and I'm presented with a choice of what kind of bingo card I'd like to create. I can choose a blank bingo card, and it's my own words. I can choose alphabet, numbers. I can choose school subject, subjects like English, geography, history, math, reading, science choose events, which include things like babies and birthday showers, but, uh, um, sorry, baby showers and birthdays, but in this case I want to choose um, holidays and I'm going to choose Thanksgiving, so I'm going to scroll down until I find Thanksgiving and then I will highlight it and I either double click on it or I click on it once and then click OK and there's my list of Thanksgiving related items. Uh, and there's my bingo card with these items on it. I can uh, add my own additional items by typing them in the window here if I want to. Um, and uh, I can also um, delete items I don't want, simply highlight them and click delete. But I'll leave the list as it is for now. Uh, I can customize the size of the bingo card. I can make a 3x3 bingo card, 4x4, 5x5. I could make a 6x6, which I don't just... Uh, not quite enough items to fill out, um, so I'll go back to 5x5. Five five. Um, I could have added more items to fill out those empty spaces. Uh, I can choose whether or not to have the heading on the bingo cards, um, and I can choose whether or not to have the free space in the middle um, of the bingo card, and again I can change the text of that. Um, now the preview here shows the words in the same order as in this window. But um, in the uh, real bingo cards, every bingo card contains a different random combination of the words in a different random order. I can also customize the appearance of the bingo cards. I can change the fonts and the colors. So in this case, let's change the colors. Let's use some more autumn colors for the squares. We'll perhaps use uh, a nice uh, brown, light brown, and we'll make it in a checkerboard pattern with um, uh, an orange, two kind of autumny colors there for the background. We'll keep the text back. Free space square will perhaps make a darker red colour with um, perhaps a golden yellowy text, and we can change the heading as well. Maybe we'll make that yellow with uh, a dark red text on it, and we'll also use a dark brown for the lines. Okay, there's my selection of colours. You could obviously spend more time thinking about it and choosing colours that you think are right, but this is uh, how I've chosen to make my uh, autumn or Thanksgiving uh, bingo card, uh, autumn flavoured Thanksgiving bingo card. Now ready to print, so I look at the print options. Uh, print call list, that's basically the list of these words but in a random order. I can um, turn that off if I don't want it simply by unchecking it. But if I'm uh, using the um, bingo cards in a classroom situation, it's quite handy to have a sheet of paper which has all the words uh, ready to call out, uh, printed and kept by the teacher. So I'll leave it on so you can see what it looks like. The software does include an option to help you select items at random during the game if you prefer to do it that way, which I'll show you as well. Uh, I'll show you that at the end of the video. Next thing here is how many bingo cards to print on each sheet of paper, bingo cards per page. If I put more bingo cards in each paper, uh, obviously the bingo cards will be smaller, and if I want to give one bingo card to each uh, Player, I potentially have to cut the paper up, but if I'm printing a large number of bingo cards, uh, it would allow me to save paper. But we'll leave it on one for the example to show you what it looks like and how many different bingo cards do I need. Um, obviously, I can put in different numbers here. In fact, I can put in any number between 1 and 9,999, which is usually a bit more than you actually like to need. But in this case, let's put in 50. I'll assume that I need quite a few different uh, Thanksgiving bingo cards. So put in 50, now ready to print. I will do print preview so you can see on screen what the bingo cards would look like. The first page is the call list, which I left enabled, the list of words in a random order. Uh, so that's handy um, if you're using it as a bingo caller and you need a printed reference to the items you can call out. And as I say, that's optional. You don't have to print that page out. You can turn it off. I'll zoom out so you can see the whole page. And then I'll do next page so you can see the first bingo card. Here are the words, random order. Um, and if I do uh, next, you'll see the second bingo card is different, and the third one is different, and the fourth one is different, and so on. So it's a very quick way to produce lots and lots of customized bingo cards with very minimal amount of effort. 
Um, if I close the preview go back to the main screen, I just mentioned that there is another option to help you call items out at random during the game. If I go onto the play menu and do call game, it will pick an item out of the list of words at random and display it here on this window and it will show on the left hand side the previously selected item. So when I click next it will choose another random item and it's showing me sweet potatoes as a current item, Thursday was the previous item, Thanksgiving was the next item and mashed potatoes and new world and so on. So um, that's basically it. If you go to bingocardprinter.com you can download a free trial version of the program, try it out, see how you like it and if you do like it register and upgrade to the full version of the program. So thank you very much. Go to the website bingocardprinter.com, download the software, try it out. Works on all recent version of Windows. I think you'll like it. Thank you very much.